To be honest, I got Anthony Joshua all day, every day. He's gonna smoke them. He's gonna smoke them house, trust. See fans here in London at the famous Alexander Palace at the very famous Harrogate Box Cup with me. I've got the champ, the 92 kg champ in DJ. Uh, DJ, I know about your past, I know about your affiliation with Dante Joshua and everything else, but today it's all about you so far. 92 kg champ, I watched the final there, it was crazy. How does it feel to be the winner? Yeah, to be honest, yeah, I feel excited, you know. It's, it's been a very crazy journey for me. I won it last year, so it's not new to me. But then, I did it in every, super everywhere last year. But this year, I did it in under 92, which is heavyweight. So it's been a very great challenge. Coming down from 99 kg to 91, it's very hard, but then I did it. And I said, okay, AJ won it twice. I'm going to do it twice as well. It's not a competition, it's just a motivation for me, you know. AJ is someone who motivates me. And he told me, yes, I did it twice. Okay, no worries, I'm going to do it twice as well. Now I've done it, come on, bro, what are you saying? I've done it, I'm happy, I'm excited. I said, I'm going to do it, now I've done it. I don't do talks, I do action, so it's done. The deal is done. 27 years old now, at what point do you feel like you're going to turn over into the prof professional ranks? Yeah, to be honest, yeah, I'm thinking of turning pro next year, hopefully. I wanted to turn pro this year, but then I've been advised by champions, like a lot of people, someone like AJ, that, okay, just calm down, get your profile up, make yourself more valuable for promoters, do you get me? Make yourself more valuable and let the portfolio, like, increase, then come on, promoters will come for you. So I think I've done that now. I'm two times RNG champion, and hopefully I'll be boxing the elite soon and get some kind of international fight as well. So let's see next year, it's good for me. I'm, I'm done, I'm ready. Obviously, you spoke about AJ there, but because you're a Southpaw, you're big. A lot of people are. You've been spot a lot of people already, and you still am. Obviously, you were talking off camera to me. Anthony Joshua, Richard Riakpo, Daniel Dubois. There's a few of the names that are. Uh, yeah, uh, Coley, Lawrence Coley as well. How good is it to be in sparring with these guys, to share camps with these guys, and just gain experience? Yeah, to be honest, yeah, it's actually a different level when you spar with champions. You see how champions eat, you see how champions train, you see what they do in their camp, you see the entourage, you see the team, it's different, trust me. And you see, boxing is real, it's not, it's not acting, they do the work to earn the money, they earn their champion, they don't just play around. So I've seen how it is, you know, I've seen how they train and I get motivated from it. Seeing a champion, there was a time I was, I was, I was running on the track with AJ and I saw him putting in the work, I was like, oh! Big bro has millions in his account and he's still working hard like this. So come on, I feel motivated to work hard as well. Like come on, I need to get it. So I'm, I'm very excited now working with champions and you know, I've learned a lot. I've just like took my time to learn the game and trust me, I'm pretty sure I'll be a champion someday. So it's calm, very good. I do want to talk about Anthony Joshua. You've been around him in camp for Usyk too. He put on a good performance, but Usyk is Usyk. He put on an absolute masterclass of a performance. Um, but Anthony Joshua back in the ring for Jermaine Franklin, beat him. A lot of people are sort of questioning the performance, but you, we can understand with the trainer um, change. But from what you know about Anthony Joshua and the time you spent with him, do you feel like he has it to beat someone like Deontay Wilder, who's touted to fight in December? To be honest, I got Anthony Joshua all day, every day. He's going to smoke them. He's going to smoke them house, trust me, because he's strong. Out of all the boxers I've sparred, you know, he's the strongest. Don't just get caught. You know, he doesn't need to like pop the jabs. Once you get it, you are gone. So you don't want to get caught. Yusik was able to like um, capitalize using his speed because he didn't stay there. But then if you're a boxer like Wilder who stays to fight, trust me, he doesn't want to get caught with Anthony Joshua shots. He's going to go down, trust me. But then, um, Yusik has that conditioning to do um, 12 rounds, which was what helped him moving around, bobbing his head and all. But someone like Wilder, if it takes AJ shot twice, once, nah, it's gone. Because I was there, I took those shots and nah, it's different. Out of everyone I've spared, no, that shot is different because it's big and strong. You know? So he doesn't need to do much. Once you get it, no, you're gone. A lot of people are saying there's a confidence issue with AJ. When he fought, Jermaine Franklin, even he said in the Pro Fight press conference, he might have been gun shy. He might not have been throwing the punches when he was in range. Do you feel like AJ is going through a confidence issue right now? To be honest, yeah, I feel he's not. He can only do what he can do. To be honest, 
I, I was in his camp against Yusik. He worked hard. But he didn't get the win. People are going to chat shit. If he had gotten the win, they would be like, OJ, oh, AJ this, AJ that. So he just did what he could do. Confidence level, he's very confident because he's putting in the work. And confidence comes from working hard, for training hard. So he trained hard for it, but he didn't go his way. So we can't just talk him out of, OK, you don't have confidence, you don't have this, that. So trust me, he's going to be like, <laughs> back soon, like, you know. Let's talk about Daniel Dubois. You mentioned Daniel Dubois, that he's going to be fighting on Alexander Usyk now. Yeah. With what you've seen of Daniel in camp and sparring and everything else, do you feel like he can possess a threat to Alexander Usyk? Um, I can't talk um, any boxer down because the game is about respect. It's about putting in the work. You might be unfit in your last fight and be fit for another fight. So I can't say, okay, he's going to do this, he's going to do that. But trust me, Daniel Dubois got power. There was a time I was sparring in my go court and I was like, whoo! Damn, he got power. So I don't know how fit uh, you think he's going to be against Danny Dubois, but looking at it, let the best man win, you know. Let the best man win. Who do you feel like is the number one man in that division, in the heavyweight division? A AJ all day, every day. But then the only person I see as threats for AJ is just Fury because, you know, he's tall. And I don't think AJ is used to fighting a taller boxer. And he got speed as well, you know, all he's popping out, those jabs and all. So I think he's going to be like the threat in the heavyweight division for AJ. But apart from that, now nah, I got AJ all day, every day. Final, final one from myself. I do want to ask you about a fight that's been made in America. That's going to happen next month, July 29th. Errol Spence versus Terence Crawford. Give me your thoughts on that, DJ. Um, I got Crawford. Why? Because I, I, I watch him a lot and I know what he can do. He has different, different styles, he's versatile. He can switch up anytime, he can move around, he can stay there to trade with you and he's southpaw as well. So he's someone I watch, I'm southpaw as well, I watch his clips well. Obviously, Spence is very good but I think Crawford got this. They've been, they've been waiting for, the, for this fight a long time ago and <laughs> Crawford got this, you know. I'm just in with Crawford. DJ, listen, it's a pleasure. Once again, massive congratulations on uh, an epic tournament, uh, a very, very exciting final. Um, I no doubt we'll speak to you soon. I know you're going to do your thing in the amateur game for the next year, and then hopefully we'll see you on the professional ranks. Thank you very much for talking to Pro Box fans. Appreciate your time. Thank you.